and welcome back. Malo here, and today we're playing Minecraft Regrowth. And if you're wondering why I'm on the title screen, well, it's because I had to restart my computer. And actually, uh, it's it's worse than that. I've recorded a whole episode, and it recorded just fine. And I got the episode all, you know, finished and done. And then when I hit stop recording on my recording software, it wouldn't stop recording and it, I, the file is corrupt so I couldn't put it out so there's a whole missing episode so sorry folks but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick uh, as much that I can uh, of what I did last episode so let's go ahead and get into that I tried restarting my computer to see if uh, see if somehow that would force my recording software to complete the recording um, in the video file and maybe make it to where the video file wasn't corrupt because the message that I was getting initially was that another uh, thing had the video file open and that's why it couldn't run but when I restarted it just said it was corrupt so so much for that I tried uh, but here's what I did so if we look in the quest book uh, if we click here to start and look in here you can see that I have uh, that I did this in the first episode I did this in the first episode, but in the uh, previous episode, and the one that's never going to air, I completed an unfired clay bucket and fired it, uh, which was nice. Uh, I finished getting all of these things, uh, and I actually went out and planted them, as you'll see here shortly. I have even gotten some wheat. Uh, I haven't gotten sugar cane or mandic root, but I'm on the way to getting those. I, uh, you saw these last time, uh, at the end of the last episode, I got those. Uh, I also built all my Tinker's things. Um, turns out for the crafting table, all you need to do is put a hatchet with, uh, with a dead wood plank in the crafting grid. So that was useful to know. And then everything else is basically made vanilla-wise, except with uh, dead wood planks instead of regular wood planks. So this episode, I would like to uh, get the mystical white flowers that I need to get. In the last episode, well, in the unaired episode, I planted all of my floral fertilizer and got zero white flowers. I got most of, or a lot of the other colors, but didn't get any white flowers. Uh, I'm currently in the process of getting the sugar canes and mandrake root. Those are made by crossbreeding, so I had to set up crop sticks to plant all of my crops and I need to crossbreed wheat and carrots to make sugar cane and so I had to have, have red sand in the middle which you'll see shortly that I found red sand on the beach I, I made it to the ocean so that was nice and uh, I need to cross potato and belladonna to make mandrake and I got those seeds from the reward here so everything is good there um, here you can see all of the flowers that I got and you can see that I got 12 out of the 16 flower colors, but none of the white flowers, which was, which was nice. Here is my tinker setup for now. Uh, out the door here, you see my crop set up. I would like to kill an ender friend. Uh, actually, I should probably put a piece of cracked sand up here so that if I can see an ender friend out here, I can try to get him to chase me this way but all I see right now are zombies and skeletons. So and the zombie's on his way, so I better go ahead and close the door here. So uh, I guess in this episode, at first, I'm just going to dig a little bit more, get a little bit more cobblestone. I don't really need it, but I have nothing better to do at night. And so I guess I will see you on the flip side. Uh, oh, oh, I should have mentioned also that I made some drying racks here, which I can use to... Once I kill zombies, where is this zombie friend? Uh, there's a zombie friend around somewhere. Apparently, he must have despawned. And now it's really quiet out here. Again, I don't see any end of friends. I need to turn my brightness up so that I can see better at night. I know you can see even less than I can see because YouTube likes to make dark things even darker. So I apologize for that. But uh, there's a zombie way out there. Just take my word for it. Another one way out there. Uh, so what I was saying is I can use zombie flesh to make food for now. Although I do have the crops growing now. So that should be okay. You can see the belladonna is fully grown. And the potatoes aren't. I, 
I made more potatoes. Uh, there, I did get some sugar cane uh, here, so I've got that going for me. Um, might as well grab my carrot. And, oh, and that's my crops. I Oh, good, 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 good. That is very... Oh, maybe that was like a concussion creeper. Uh, all it did was knock me back. It didn't do any damage. It didn't break my crops. So that that's nice. Uh, yeah, okay. So there's a zombie. Let me go ahead and kill it. I guess I can spam click. I got some brains. Let's pick up the experience. And put the brains in the chest. I didn't actually get any more zombie flesh out of that, but yes. Okay, so I zombie flesh goes up here, and then you get monster jerky five minutes later. So that's how that works. I'm going to dig out a little bit more so that I have a little more room to play with in here. And I'll catch you when it's morning so I can go outside and, and do more other things. And welcome back. I'm just looking around for some ender friends. See if I can see any hanging out this morning. I can see other mobs around, but I don't see any ender friends, which is annoying. It'd be nice to get, because it looks like if I can get that quest open, then I can get other quest trees unlocked. Here comes another concussion creeper. So it's nice that these things don't actually blow my stuff up because that could be uh, annoying. I guess I can spam click because it's 1.7.10, which is right before spam clicking was pretty much uh, disabled. But uh, I, I don't like spam clicking. I, I, I'm glad that they disabled that. Uh, but in, in this, I will take advantage of it. Okay, so it looks like I just don't get an ender friend yet. So that's that's nice. Uh, I don't see, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and work more with crops. Uh, should I work more with crops or should I dig or try to get more? I think I, I might need to get more of the uh, floral fertilizer, but let's go ahead and pick this because we have. Uh, more belladonna seeds? Oh, did I not put... No? No? That's weird. I thought it was supposed to be between belladonna and potato. Did I do something wrong there? Let's see. Needs to be... Yeah, potato and belladonna. Okay, well, the next time a potato grows, I'll do it over here. Well, there's a belladonna already over there, so yeah. Next time potato grows, I will be ready over here. Uh, let's see. So I got that. It's at 71%. Maybe it's the fact that the potato wasn't fully grown yet, but the belladonna was. So maybe I should do it do them both at once right here. So that's what I'll plan for. Put the crop sticks back for now. In fact, we'll put the belladonna and weed away as well. And yeah, so okay, I want to go out and break some more grass. So I'll, I'll be back here when I'm back. All right, well, I've gone ahead and planted the potato seeds and the belladonna seeds here. I might just, uh, well, yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do is, so I got more rotten flesh here. What I'm going to do is create some more, I only got one more floral fertilizer that way, but I found a couple bones out there. Uh, I only found one bone. Somehow I have, oh, I have a lot of bone meal from the uh, quest. What I'm going to do is create some more flor floral fertilizer just with the, the flowers and the bones. I think... In order to do that, I just have to create uh, a bowl. Can't do a bowl that way. Let's see. Uh, floral powder. It's, if I do floral white powder, I need a pestle and mortar. So I need, okay. So I need a stick, a, yeah, a bowl. Okay, I need those. Okay. That's fine. I think I have, or I can make those easily. There we go. There's my bowl. Four bowls. I don't think I need that many. Okay, so that I do a one of you, a one of you, and a one of you. Uh, 
like that. And now I have a pestle and mortar, which I can use to uh, smash some of these. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do all of the green and all of the purple uh, and all of the blue. I'm going to save the light blue for now because I know I want some of those early on. But for now, let's do all of you guys. So I need a multiple of four, 12, 16. 16 is indeed a multiple of four. So what I can do is create some floral green powder, some floral blue powder, and some floral purple powder, and then do uh, some of you and uh, some of you and uh, some of you and uh, some of you. And now I'll have five floral fertilizers. Let's go ahead and hope five is enough. It probably won't be, but because I need two white, I got zero. This is this is getting annoying. Well, I can create more floral, floral fertilizers out of this, but for now. I'm gonna have to wait out the night again because it's turning night, as you can see. So let's go ahead and pick our, well, let's throw the floral, the, the botania flowers in here real quick and then pick our crops, the ones that we have available, and then hunker away again for another night. Uh, I think that's it for me. There we go. So I still don't have another quest ready you guys away in here, sort you, and keep the bone meal on me for now. Don't need those on me, don't need those on me. I'll keep that on me for now. So yeah, I am still in a waiting situation, waiting for the mandrake root, and waiting for my white flowers, and waiting for an ender friend. So I'll go ahead and uh, jump back in when I have something new to show you. And welcome back. I just found an ender pearl, which is exciting. I also found out that uh, I can make cotton seeds, although it's a little bit of a little bit of a, a rabbit hole. Uh, I need to create um, what is it? Barley seeds and dandelion seeds. And for the barley seeds, I I can create those relatively easily. I think it's two seeds that I already have. But for the dandelion dandelion seeds, I need to create melon seeds. And for the melon seeds, I need to create pumpkin seeds. And so. That's a lot of crossbreeding, but I'll worry about that here later. In the meantime, I just killed my ender friend. See, I want string so that I can create a bed so I can sleep through the nights, which would be very nice. I always like to sleep through nights. Um, but in the meantime, I can go ahead and do this. So claim the reward, get another ender pearl. And then that actually, I believe, opens up. Okay, so it unlocked this, although, oh, and there are quests that I can do in that. Oh, and there's a quest in there that I can do, and there are quests in there that I can do. Cool, so this is the end, so that, I'm not doing that anytime soon. Uh, great, this is, okay, so I did actually get a mysterious map from one of the enemies. Uh, so yeah, it seems that particular monster dropped a curious piece of paper, which appears to be a map. Might be worthwhile to see where it leads. Uh, I can get eight experience drops if I do that. Seems lead to lead somewhere in the vicinity of 750, 1100. Better go check it out. I'll do, worry about that later. Here I can do two quests. I can do a uh, chisel, which is great. I could actually do that as soon as I get a piece of iron, though I don't have any way of doing that yet. And then a super crafting frame. No idea what that is. Having quick access to a pre-programmed recipe is nice and is something you can achieve with a super crafting frame. When you place the frame, it will bring up the... GUI, which will let you set the recipe and whether it will pull from the player's inventory and or so it sounds like a quick way to build things craft things which is nice but not useful for me at the moment 
All right, so here I still have the two quests here that I need to get. So this quest, I do have, oh, okay, so that grew potatoes in the middle. So if I just get rid of those, maybe that's the best way to do this. So let's just put the potato seeds in here for now and put two more crop sticks. So now that they're both fully grown, I think is when the crossbreeding will work. So let's do that. Oops, don't put that up there. I think I got a couple more rotten fleshes to hang up. And I'm going to go ahead and, for now, just completely pick all the crops that are grown because I need to think about uh, the way that I'm going to set things up here. Let's go ahead and pick that and get rid of those crop sticks and get rid of that and replace it with dirt and till the dirt. There we go. Don't want to get rid of this one yet. This one's not fully grown. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of these two. I think I have plenty of seeds from everything else. Except, yeah, I do have one potato. And one potato seed. I'm going to get rid of that as well. Okay, so what I needed to do was put stuff away properly. Okay, so I have unidentified belladonna seeds now and identified wheat seeds as well. I think that just means that they're better. So let's actually try to do the crop, what was it called? Crop, no, it was not, uh, maybe it was called seed analyzer. Yes, there it is. So what I need is, ooh, I need a glass pane, okay. And I need a slab of something, okay, I can make that, that's not that bad. So for the glass pane, I just need to cook up a piece of glass, so a piece of sand. And I do have nine red sand, so let's just do, oh, I'm going to need six of them, though. Ugh. I'll just do eight, then. Keep one for myself. And cook up eight so that I don't waste a charcoal. Put you in there. And all right, so I needed to create the barley seeds. Barley seeds, I need uh, wheat and sugar cane, which I have. One sugar cane and one wheat. So let's plant those crop sticks. And so now I know to not put the middle crop stick in yet until I have the, uh, until the other two are fully grown, uh, which I apparently can't place an unidentified one, okay. So I need the seed analyzer first, I guess. So I need to wait for one more piece of glass. And there we go. Get a glass pane. And then I needed stone as well. So don't think it can be, a, could it be a, okay, so I want to see the analyzer. Could it be a cobble slab? Oh, it can be a cobble slab. Okay, so I can do this then. So for, with a cobble slab, oops. Let's just, oh, I, I do have smooth stone anyway, but no, let's not waste that. Cobble slab, one of you, uh, can I do this with a shift click like that? Sort of? I don't know what it's doing here. Uh, what was it? I don't want that. Okay, so I, I yeah I see what it's doing. There we go. And put you there. Okay, so how does the seed analyzer work? Do I place it somewhere? Do I place it on the floor here, and then put a seed there, and then it gives me that. Okay, good, good. So now that I have these analyzed, can I plant them here? I can. All right, good. So let's do that. Oh, oh yeah, okay, that's, that's what's going on. Of course. Let's plant them over here. So they're both still analyzed. Okay, so I want one here and one here. And there, that should work now. I want the wheat and the sugar cane. And then once they fully grow, I'll, pl I'll put the two crop sticks there. This hasn't spread yet, but what's the, the other thing? So I want melon seeds first, I think. No, I want pumpkin seeds first to 
make the melon seeds. So for pumpkin, I do potato and carrot. So that's easy enough. Let's do a carrot seed and an unidentified potato seed. Let's let's make sure I'm doing the best ones of, of whichever one. So I'll identify both potato seeds and see which one's better. Um, there we go. So I got that one's better. Throw that one back in there. And plant a couple more crop sticks this time. This time I can plant them here. And a carrot and a potato. There we go. This still hasn't grown. That's concerning me. But anyway. Let's, see. Let's go ahead and identify the rest of our seeds that we don't have identified yet. This is going to get annoying how the uh, seeds don't stack. Don't know what this button is. Or this button. But let's go ahead and identify all of my seeds. And this will be this. Nope, that'll be fast. All right, so everything there is identified. Let's sort it. I do need to change my sorting rules so that I, oh, and still potato seeds. Why does it keep doing that? It's supposed to be between belladonna and potato, right? Mandrake, mandrake seeds, belladonna and potato. Maybe it just has a chance of doing the wrong thing. So I have to try this again. So it worked with other seeds that I've put in there. So I know I'm not doing it wrong, I think. Uh, let's grab our monster jerky. And OK, well. I think that'll be it for this episode, but yeah, in the next episode I'll go ahead and start with, or try to make more, eh, it's going to be night again. Well, we'll see what happens in the next episode. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a great day.